Thomas. <laughs> Presiding over them all, the great Mark Damazer. Where are you, Mark? Right? He's the man you're talking about when you say that radio is better now than it's been for 25 years. He, it was a terrific act of imagination for him to ask me, and he met, or well, somehow contrived, that the BBC should meet my impossible condition, which was to keep the, uh, my broadcasts for my website, www.flagbeam.com, <laughs> which I'm always as keen on as I am. And uh, I don't feel <coughs> that I'm transgressing by accepting this fight because Orwell himself was a broadcaster. He was a mighty broadcaster. If you look in the collected journalism, you'll see script after script, this wonderful series on politics during World War II that he uh, recorded for transmission to India. Some of his best writing. The drawback was that Nobody in India heard it because they didn't have any radios. <laughs> <laughs> and the BBC executive in charge would now, of course, have a great career with British Airways. <laughs> <laughs> when it even opens Terminal 6. <laughs> uh, everyone has said what they all well meant to them. What he meant to me is, is, is so elementary I hardly dare state it. He was the writer who brought prose close to speech, and that meant closer to the earth, and that's where it should stay. And he believed in correct grammar as the secret to freedom of expression. And uh, just as the BBC uh, has retained its belief in such a thing as received standard English pronunciation, which even an Australian can approximate <laughs> when the wind is in the right direction. <laughs> he, he was, it wasn't that he was always right, but quite often wrong, sometimes hugely wrong. In the 30s, he said several, many times, that uh, fascism was just liberal democracy with the gloves off. He said before World War II began that Britain couldn't hope to prevail against the Nazis unless there was a social revolution, and the social revolution might have to be imposed by armed force. He said both these things, but the important thing is that later he realized he was wrong and said so. That was his great secret. It was honesty about himself. 